She likes what she likes And she could put it all on you, baby If you bout that life, bout that life Because you don't got time to choose it Hey tribe, it's Kia from Heritage93 and you know how the girls are super healthy and in the ballerina shape. Well, I wanted to do something completely different and try dip powder nails on for size. Now, a bit earlier in time, I purchased this dip powder kit after seeing an ad. You know how that goes. And so this kit comes with a few dip powders, brushes, soaking clips, and a glass file. And most importantly, the three-step system that is going to bring this dip powder mani all the way together, literally. I also picked up a few other colors that were sold separately because options. And to foreshadow, this is the before, and this is the after. Not too shabby for a first try off camera. This is definitely different, but having done it once, I feel a bit more comfortable demonstrating this on camera. Now the goal is to repeat these efforts onto this hand and switch up the colors just a bit because dip powder swatch curiosity. Let's get started. First up, we have a soft peachy orange that we will be placing on pinky. Step one, grab that base, then apply the base, leaving a little space, and then dipping into the powder at a slow pace. Okay, that was quick. So I'll give Pinky a little dusting with this black kabuki brush that comes with the kit. And after observing, I'll grab that base coat and this time paint the entire nail plate with one thin coat of base before dipping into the peachy powder and dusting off once again. So I actually missed a spot at the top and I wanted to try to add a bit more base to cover things up. Let's see. It looks like a go. Next, I need step two, which is the activator to instantly solidify the two layers of base. Now this kit does come with a few extra clear brush stalks and with this color transfer, I understand why. Eh, good enough. Now we're actually going to move on to this purple powder and repeat the take the base and leave a space brush application on ring finger and then dip. Now, the thing I started to notice is that when it comes to the color of dip powder, sometimes the input and the output are just different. But you know, applying that second coat of base helps us see what the color will actually be. So applying the base to the full nail plate, we shall dip and dip and dip once more on the same base before dusting. More on the reasoning for this triple dip later. For now, it's time to activate the base, so we'll grab step two and paint. But the activator brush straight up started to create little stabs in the dip powder, which actually cured with a dent in the dip. Now, this was a little annoying, seeing as though I added too much dip the first time, and this time too little, maybe? Ah, well. It's okay. Next up is a minty green that we will be dipping on middle finger. But okay, the purple dip is transferring a bit and it's looking a little gritty, but eh, no biggie because we're gonna do a little dippy and then get to tap, tap, tap and the excess powder off back into the jar. But you know, there is a reason why you should go slow or else you just might mess up the edge like I did here. And then you'll have to try to fix the boo-boo and dip again. But then it's like, no, this is not turning out the way I envisioned it because now it is getting cakey. Yeah, not quite. But again, it's okay. I'm thinking that this topish color on pointer will save the day, please. And once again, adding a little base, but leaving a little space before dipping into a powdery place. Why yes, okay, this nail is coming along, so let's repeat the process once more with a full coat of dip powder before activating. But okay, of course, I think I added too much activator this time because I stabbed the soft dip powder again. Ah, so close, so close. This is a straightforward process, but there is definitely an art to it. But no worries, we shall move right along to the red powder which will pair with them. And again, applying that base before dipping into a powdery place. 
Now, of course, this is the last one, but this is the cleanest dipping I've had yet. And I think curving my thumb into the powder had a lot to do with it as it allows for a more even smooth coverage. Okay, and here's another coat of the base. Now, remember earlier when I mentioned the triple dipping onto the same layer of base? Well, I found that sometimes when I added a little bit more base than necessary, the dip powder must have had a nice workout because it started to sweat through. So, you know, I found that it's safe to dip more than once under sweaty circumstances. And somehow on this nail, the activation was just so satisfying and wonderful. I literally just had to tap and let it do its thing as if this is how it was meant to be. Next, I thought to go in with a glass file, but it was like, mm, no, we ain't got time for that. So I switched to a coarser file to especially smooth out that poor cakey middle finger. Then following up with filing the super rough sides of this thumbnail as well. Then going in a third time with my buffing block to bring the top activated layer to a smoother finish. Okay, so you notice the difference here and here, right? It's about that time to bring in step three, which is actually my favorite step, the top coat. I like it because it brings in the shine, clearly, but there's also no color transfer, so you can clearly apply it to each nail. But what blew my mind is that this layer dries really quickly and gracefully in a way. You see, voila. And after a minute or two, I can add a second layer of the clear. Why yes, we definitely love a wonderful and magnificent shine. But okay, the girls are looking good for a first time, but they don't have to look so dry. Yes, we need a little bit of hydration. Plus, I know a few of you all have been asking about moisturizing the natural nails with enhancements. So for the top side, specifically my cuticles, I'll be using the 24K Nail and Cuticle Care Oil Treat. When the nail plate is covered with enhancement or polish, this treat is still super handy at keeping the surrounding skin in top condition while also encouraging dynamic natural nail growth. Now, to glow up once more, mani-wise, I'll add a little bit more glam with glitter so that this look is going from dreary to poppin' nail party. But skipping ahead into future filming for just a second, as the nails grow out some, you may have a bit of a quietly crusted gap when the new growth begins to pop in. Mm -hmm. But that small crusty space is a perfect fit for the brush tips of the Super Size Cuticles Restored Collection in this fall, mint condition, florality, and summer citrus. Now to demonstrate, I'm just gonna expose as much nail plate as I can, grab my summer citrus, and brush it right along the cuticle and onto that exposed nail plate. Now, fun fact, in addition to moisture, each one of these seasonal pens has a unique set of benefits inspired by the nail problems we are most likely to experience during each respective season of the year. These treats are kinda deep. You can read more information about this and shop the nail treats at handsbyheritage.co. Now back to the deets on the dip powder, there were a few things that stuck out to me. Number one, the colors of the powders. Some of them look super similar or are not at all what they appear to be. It's so important to be mindful if you're dipping multiple colors. Also, in hindsight, painting on lacquer polish looks cute here, but it definitely doesn't seem to age all that well. The third thing is this dip definitely left the girls thicker looking, but I think I can do a better job applying this to be smoother in the future. Definitely let me know if you all want to see an updated dip video. Ah yes, how can we forget about the other place we can moisturize, the undersides. Y'all know how I feel about underside care. We literally had to dedicate a whole nail treat to this. So while the top of her nail plate is covered in a way, consider the undersides another place to focus the majority of your natural nail care energies. You'll seriously thank yourself upon removal of the dip when you don't have peeling, breaking, neglected looking nails. Overall, for a first try, I thought this was a pretty cool, practical, and a relatively quick process to complete. I would try this again. 
So yes, I hope you all enjoyed this I dip and dip and dip again for the first time type tutorial and found this really helpful for your natural nail gone dip powder. But let's also talk about some moisturizing techniques needs. That one was a mouthful, but as always, thank you all so much for watching and engaging. Take very good care and happy nail growing. I will see you very soon in the next one.